only reason you haven't manifested your dream life so far is because you are still you. You are not meant to have it. You are not. Not you. Hi everyone, welcome, I'm Kaylina. If you've not seen me before, you, who you are right now, here today, can't have that. You are not that kind of person that can have that. Let's say it's your dream career. You are not that kind of person who can have your dream career. That's why you're sitting here across from me complaining, whining, crying, looking up videos and content about how to manifest your dream life but I do believe in serendipity and I do believe in divine timing and I do believe that if you're watching this, you were supposed to hear this and you need a kick in the butt from me. So this is what you're getting. I know right now you're probably like, wow, Kayleen is so mean. Kayleen is a B word. I'm the most straightforward person, the most. Everyone who knows me in my personal life knows this. I see through the veil, the excuses, the facade, the masks, the lies. I see through it all. You're not a bad person. You're not even a failure. You're not. You're just stuck in being the version of you who can't have this thing that you want, but you can evolve yourself to become the person who has what she wants. Okay, little story. Back when I was in my early 20s, I worked in a retail store. I was assistant director of visual merchandising, things like that. I graduated from fashion school with a fashion merchandising degree, so this made sense. I also worked one year in finance. It's not like a typical retail kind of position. Good salary had an abundance of opportunity for me to leeway into all kinds of different avenues within the company, even outside of the company, because it just had so much. However, during that time, I was a wreck. I was so miserable. I have all of this in front of me. This will look really good. I should feel lucky. But I was unhappy, very unhappy. So because I was unhappy, I heard from someone this book called the, I think it was the seven steps of highly effective people. This was my first book kind of introducing me into, I guess, a world of manifesting, if you want to say, even though he doesn't talk about manifesting anyway. I read this book because I was unhappy and I heard from someone that this book helped them to create the life that they want. So during that time, I realized the life I wanted to create, what kind of things and people, opportunities I wanted to bring in, what I really wanted to do with my career, which was to not work for anyone. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And so I started reading this book and it changed the trajectory of my life overnight but listen i'm not saying it's the book that changed my reality but here's what did it was me accepting and agreeing to evolving as i was reading this book i realized i need to be a different person i need to be a different me i need to become okay with leaving this version of me which i like there's a lot of things about my personality that i liked i had some accomplishments i liked myself just fine but I felt I plateaued and I could see very clearly the trajectory of my life and I wasn't happy with that. I didn't like that and I didn't want it. And I realized that at that point, in nearing my mid-twenties, again with the dog hair, sorry, in nearing my mid-twenties, I realized at that point, if I want my dream life, I have to change. I have to become a new person. I have to become someone else. And I really took that on. And I was like, I'm someone else. I'm someone else now. And the book helped, yes. Like I said, I'll leave it below. But I couldn't tell you actually today if it was just that book or that book was just like a component of why I was able to navigate into my dream life. My dream life was to become a full-time YouTuber and I did it. <laughs> Sorry, my thing got and I wanted to snap. I tripled my numbers in three months. I was getting paid a lot of money. There's other things too. I got the body that I wanted. I got fit. I grew. I evolved. There's all kinds of things and I'm trying to remember. It's Since then, I've done more. But at that time, those were big things for me. And how I did it was I made the decision and I said, okay, 
to leaving my past behind me and not putting it in the backpack, zipping it up and putting it on. I know I said that in the last one, but I can't say that enough. It's so important because when we do that, when we take that storyline with us, we continue just creating the same things. And I don't mean to sound all woo woo or anything. There's scientific stuff behind this, things with the brain, psychology, I studied psychology, blah, blah, blah. But I agreed to evolve and change. And because I agreed to evolve and change, I was able to get everything that I wanted. And that's how I have been every step of the way. Every time, again, when it's happened where I was like, you know what, I want this instead. I don't like the trajectory anymore. I prefer this, this feels better. I do this. I just agree to myself that I need to change. I need to become a new me. So honey, when I said you can't get it, I'm talking to the you now. But I think maybe in me saying this, something's been clicking up and you're shifting into the you that can achieve this. And it's going to require a new you. And it's going to require you to also agree, step up to that. So my love, take a sip of your coffee, calm down, wipe your tears. I'm gonna help you through this. Okay, we're going to do this together. First thing I need you to do, you need to go home and write down everything that you want, okay? Everything you want on a piece of paper or even buy a journal just for this. That's what I do. I really love to have my little specific journals. Write down on one piece of paper everything you want, everything that is in your dream life. On the next piece of paper, take another piece of paper. Read back over what you just wrote and now you need to write down who has that life? Who is the type of girl that has that life? You're writing down your her, becoming her, if you saw that whole thing go viral on TikTok of becoming her. But I want you to step outside of yourself, okay? So that means when you're writing down who the person that has all of this dream life is, you're not putting yourself into it. You are not involved in this at all. Okay, yes, you sat down, you wrote your little dream life. Now you take yourself out of it completely and just write down the type of person that would have what you want. Who is she? What does she do? What is her routine like every day? What time does she wake up? What time does she go to bed? Get as specific as you possibly can that feels good. Who has this? Who is she? What does she do? How does she feel every day? What does she do every day? What are her hobbies? What is her friend group like? What is her boyfriend, husband like? Does she have children? And then get into her routine. What time does she wake up every day? What kind of workouts does she do? Who is she? Who is this girl that has your dream life, okay? So write out her routine. After you write out her routine, follow it. Just follow it. Like I said in our last chat, you need to stop complaining. You need to stop hanging on to your past. You need to stop, you need to take that backpack of your past off and just toss it aside. It's gone, it's done. And you need to start getting disciplined. If you don't have your dream life yet and you've been actually trying at it for a while, you haven't been disciplined enough. I'm sorry, but I've been through this many times, like I said, and every time what has been true, yes, there's been many different other factors and caveats and feelings and emotions and everything, but what's always held true is that I wasn't disciplined. Despite whatever reason and excuse I had and how valid the excuse was, it still always comes down to discipline. And I know it's not always easy, but that's why you're taking yourself out of it. This is not a time to sit around and contemplate and think of why this and why, no, that's for you and your therapist. Save that for the time with you and your therapist. I am for healing, but you need to also spend a good amount of your day disassociating from that part of you that has all that damage and all those fears and all those worries and all those doubts and just click on like a switch, kind of a little robotic, I know, but Listen, it's just for the time being and it will land you where you want to be and when it does, then you can bring up the emotional parts of you if you want. And then you can, I don't know, dive more into the emotional parts of you and but you won't want to, that's the thing. You'll be like, woo, I wanna enjoy my new life. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying this. And when I need to heal, I heal. Just know that I'm not putting off healing. Do your, do your healing work, do your journaling do all of that but have times during your day for me during a really hard part of my life i was a caretaker to my terminally ill mother things were getting 
to the end and it was a really hard time but you know what i had a business to run i had to keep money coming in i had to keep myself afloat i couldn't just sit and always all day be in my emotions and my feelings so i had a schedule of work and i was not allowed to get into my feelings get into my emotions until 4 30. 4 30 p.m rolled around and then i was allowed to stop working, to cry, to feel, and spend the rest of the night doing that, I was allowed. But from 7 a.m. until 4.30, I was clicked into Kaylina, who has what she wants, and is doing what she wants, and is in the land, and I was living my dream life, aside from the unfortunate part. And I was not knowing a manifestation yet. I would have changed a couple of things if I was. But I did what I had to do. And I have to tell you, it was really healthy for me. Listen, now I'm gonna get tough again. That was my mother, that was my best friend. If I can do it, you can do it. You can do it. I could go through that of losing my mother, knowing I'm losing my mother, my best friend, who's still young. If I could go through that and stay structured for a time of my day, and achieve and get the life that I want because I did, I achieved everything I want. If I can go through that, you can too, okay? I'm not saying this for pity. I'm saying this so that it clicks in your head that you you can do this. I believe in you and you really can do this. You really can have what you want. Whatever it is you're thinking of right now, you can have it. You absolutely can have it. And you should, okay? You should. But not the you that you're you are right here right now you're going to need to evolve you're going to need to change so no matter what our excuses are what our reasons are what blocks are in our way no matter what and i'm not even talking to myself again too because i still need the reminder too it's normal and it's human to need the reminder don't beat up on yourself and don't be hard on yourself honey seriously it ebbs and flows it's life life gets very busy and sometimes we can forget these things but I'm here to put you back on track. So sit down with yourself, do the journaling that I just told you to do. Write out your dream life. Write out who the woman is that has that. Do it right here, right now, after this video. But this part, don't forget it. This part is so important. You need to have that structure, that block of your day, where no matter what you feel, what comes up, what fear, what worry, what's thrown your way, what circumstance you're like, you're focused you're like no i'm i'm this girl right now and she does this right now and she does this right now and she does this right now if it's like a person who's coming in and interfering and standing in your way you have to just kind of move and maneuver around maybe you need to adjust your life maybe you need to move out maybe you need to move away from someone maybe you just need to mm, wake up earlier whatever it is there's always a workaround stop with the excuses and that's it i hope that's not too general but this is honestly what i would say to you if you were my friend and in doing this activity that i told you to you can always refer back to it you can remind yourself of it actually i highly recommend that every morning you make your tea you make your coffee you make a, a drink for yourself and you sit down and you read over your schedule again you need to stick to the her schedule stick to the her schedule because that's that's your commitment to yourself. I promise to start writing it out and it will all come to you. It will all flow through. So, like I said, you don't have your dream life right now because you can't achieve it. But that paper that you just wrote out, that girl, oh yeah, she can achieve it. Oh yeah, she's got it in the bag. Actually, she's not even focused on manifesting that stuff because she already did. And I'd love to meet her because she sounds really cool. So call me when she arrives, okay? I believe in you guys. I know you can do this. I know you have this in the bag. Without a doubt, you've achieved things in your life. Don't tell me you haven't because you have, so you can do this. If I could, and I know we hear that people say this all the time, but I gave you an example that's a pretty big example so if i can do it you can do it if you haven't watched my chat about how to be happy because i will help you in the meantime while you're trying to achieve your dreams and yeah i'll see you over in that video actually i think you should go go to that right now too so but i'll see you next time peace out. cheers